Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai Parliament. Specifically, we're sitting here in March 2023. We expect the closure or dissolution of Parliament, either the session to end or the Parliament to be dissolved, to occur imminently here in March. Exactly when remains to be seen, but it has ramifications. Closing Parliament has ramifications. And I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com, article is titled, Enduring the Lame Duck Period, quoting directly, the EEC board, that's the Eastern Economic Corridor, the EEC board held a meeting on March 1st, chaired by General Prayut, and a, pri and a proposal to adjust a construction contract for a high-speed rail system linking the three airports was not approved. Quoting further, the anticipated House dissolution this month means the proposal ex is expected to be shelved until a new government is established. So yeah, what kind of happens here, not to get political, but just from kind of a functional understanding standpoint, is once the parliament dissolves or goes out of session, we're going to go into the political season over here. It's going to be the elections. Then presumably once the elections are completed, then the MPs that are elected will then be seated in parliament. A new prime minister will be decided based on essentially their convening and deciding on a new PM and how all the new coalition government will fall together and all of that remains to be seen. But in the meantime, if something hasn't been done yet, if something hasn't been fully sort of sussed out legally, for example, this high-speed rail link which would connect these three airports, which is a major feature of the EEC, things aren't going to be able to happen on that until the next government comes in. So we may, you know, with regard to the Eastern Economic Corridor, that issue may remain tabled until we see a new government come in. Again, all of this is going to be, you know, somewhat circumstantial, and it remains to be seen exactly how it's going to play out. But the thing to understand is, A, first off, the Eastern Economic Corridor is already formed. As we've discussed in other videos, there's a number of benefits associated with doing business in the Economic Corridor, not least of which tax, but tax uh, incentives, we've also, you know, work permit incentives, all sorts of incentives associated with possible things like land usage rights or land even possibly land ownership rights under very limited circumstances. But long story short, there's a number of benefits associated with doing business in the EEC and whether or not that comes to fruition in the near term remains to be seen. But it looks like, at least as of the time of this video, we're probably going to have to wait until the next parliament convenes to see any further action regarding the high-speed train in the Eastern Economic Corridor.